magical friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we have another magical unboxing for you. We have the Wizarding Trunks People You Love to Hate box and we can see a very sneaky preview here of a one particular character that we all love to hate, okay? So I'm very, very excited about this box. It's got some weight to it. It's really exciting. I'm loving the new style of these boxes as well, you guys. They are so beautiful and there's even a little beetle down here wonder who that might be in reference to. Yeah, so I'm very, very excited. And if you are too and would like to see more, then do carry on watching. Just to let you guys know, this box has been sent to me for free to review for you guys, but all thoughts and opinions are my own. If you want to get your very own Wizarding Trunk box, you can use code Kaylee10 for 10% off your first box or any single purchase items from the store as well. Don't forget as well, if you haven't done already, so please hit the subscribe button to become part of a little magical community and turn the notification bells on as well to be notified every time I upload a video. And you can always go and check me out on my social media. A big, big shout out to my patrons. You guys are amazing. And if you are interested in joining us on Patreon, the link is in the description down below. You can go and check it out. Okay, so like I said, people we love to hate. There are a very, very many people that we love to hate from the Harry Potter world. So I'm very intrigued to see what we get from this box. As always, I will give you a sneak preview there we go. Ooh, I'm seeing something pink. Oh, okay, we have something very pink here. Let's have a little look. Oh my gosh, do I go for this straight away? Look at this. This box is beautiful. I definitely think I can repurpose this. Regardless of what's inside, I'm very excited about the box. So let's have a little look what is inside here. Oh, okay. Mine's been a little bit jostled, sadly, and it's a little bit skew if, but we can fix it, I'm sure. We've got this beautiful peacock feather quill. It's an actual working quill as well. I love that. With a beautiful, beautiful stand for it to go in. How beautiful is that? I feel like I'm gonna have to do something with this feather because it's looking a little bit on the disheveled side, but it's really, really beautiful. I'm really a big fan of it. Look at that, that's so pretty. Can you imagine that on your like desk or something at work? It would look really, really pretty on all eight. Yeah, I vibe in that, that's lush. I am definitely repurposing the box as well. Bonus. Okay, I'm seeing something floofy in here. What is this floof floof? <gasps> we have a scabbers. No way. Oh my God, look at him. I haven't got a scabbers. <gasps> I was thinking about getting one as well. I don't have to anymore. He was in my box. This is so cute. Okay, I know we all hate Peter Pettigrew, okay? But before we know he is Peter Pettigrew, we all love scabbers. I am a huge scabbers fan. I love him. Um, yeah, well, I was very, very sad when he turned into a really weird looking guy. But this is so soft and coochie. I really like it. It's really sweet. His long tail as well is really creepy but cute. <gasps> I'm so excited about this. My daughter is dying to get a real life rat pet. Um, I've been putting it off a little bit because it's a lot of work and she's not always around a lot. She's in high school now as well, so she's got a lot going on. And I think it might be a little bit the wrong time for a real rat right now. But this is a really cute little substitute. Oh, he's so cute. I love him. You can sit there, Scabbers, and watch me unbox the rest. Ooh, what's this? Let me have a little look. I think we've got a potion bottle here. This is Powdered Root of Asphodel. Loving that. So let's have a little look at this closer. Okay, ooh. It's got like sand or something inside of it. This is really cool. And it says, Powdered Root of Asphodel, number 90,354, 100% pure from pure blood apothecaries. Crushed and hand ground with a brass mortar and pestle. How lovely. And then we've got a really nice wax stamp on the top as well that says PBA, pure blood apothecary. I'm loving that. That's a really nice little potion bottle. It'll go straight to my potion shelf and I'm living for it. Nice one. Okay, there are a lot of boxes in here. I'm seeing a ministry box and another box. <gasps> I've just moved out of the way there and I've just spotted out the corner of my eye a plate. That's what I can see. Oh my gosh, that's, oh, this is cute. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so cute. I love it. I know we all hate Umbridge, okay? It is a universal fact that everybody, I don't know if I've ever, ever met anyone that likes Umbridge, but her aesthetic is so cute, okay? You can't deny that. I'm living for the pinks and I'm living for the little kitties. I think this is really, really sweet. Oh my gosh, this is really cute. And the kittens they've used as well are too adorable. I'm loving the uh, the florals going around here as well, like the roses. I'm loving the pinks in here, the greens as well. This is too adorable. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna open this next. So let's have a little look at what's inside here. This is like a Ministry of Magic. Almost looks like it's a cupboard of some kind. Let's have a look at what's inside. I have no idea what this is gonna be. Okay, we have styrofoam. Oh, it won't come out. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, I should have known. This is really daft that I didn't know. This is really cool though. I'm living for this. We have a declaration wall hanging. This is so cute. This is like fibres or something. I think it's from the, the uh, polystyrene. Some fibres all over it. But this is declaration number 45. No trolls permitted in the dungeon. A rule I think we can all agree with, to be fair, though. That's not an unreasonable rule. But I think this is really cool. I've seen similar kind of things to this. I've never bought one myself, but I've definitely wanted one. So the fact that we've got one now that we can actually hang up is really, really cute. I love it. I think this is really sweet. Will it go? Will it go? I don't know. Will it go? Tell me, guys. Do you think it'll go behind me? Or if not, I'm going to have to hang it somewhere on my shelves. This is really cute. I love it. Oh, a super strong box so far. Let's see what else is here. Okay, we have another key. This is a very big one. Let's have a look. Right, so this is a Ministry of Magic key. It's got some purple and green details on here. We've got a couple of snakes either side of this big crest there. There's not an awful lot to say about it. The design's quite cool. I think it would definitely be something that would go in the Ministry of Magic, but there's not an awful lot to the design. It's very like ornate and detailed, but not a lot of things that you can actually say there's snakes there, and there's this, that there, there's that, all that there. But I do like the key. I think it's a really, really nice one. Again, it's a key ring as well. Very decorative. Something that you can use, something you can display, depending on what tickles your fancy. I think this is a really nice key. Okay, I've just seen something that I'm very pleased about. Oh my gosh, I've never seen things like this in a wizarding trunk box before. So this is a first for me, and it's just really cool. We have a pair of Bellatrix Lestrange earrings. How cool are these? Are they like raven skulls? Is that what it is? Normally she has like the necklace, isn't it? But this is like earring versions. These are really cool. They're very dark, very omeny. But if you're doing something like a Bellatrix cosplay, or if this is just your vibe, you're gonna love these. These are really, really cool. For me, these would definitely be something I would wear to go to like a Harry Potter event or something Harry Potter themed. Probably wouldn't be like everyday wear earrings. They're not my vibe in like everyday stuff. But they are definitely something that I would wear if I was going to like a studio tour or something along those lines. Something maybe with a darker edge. I think these are really, really cool. Okay, I'm going to get this box out of the way. And I'm also going to get this box out of the way because there are things underneath which I'm seeing. Ooh, okay, one second. First of all, I'll take this out. We have a ring here. This looks to be a Slytherin ring. Okay. The reference is slightly escaping me. Is this like a Snape thing? Is it a Slytherin in general thing? Is it a Malfoy thing? I'm not sure. It's one of those very big, like, what are they called? Like signet rings? One of these like very big chunky rings. I don't dislike the design. It's not my aesthetic because I'm not a Slytherin and because I'm not really into like the darker arts side of the Wizarding World. But I can appreciate the design that's gone into it and the work that's gone into it. It's got all these scales along the band and then we've got this really nice little snake in the middle as well. I think if you're a Slytherin or you're that way inclined with that kind of aesthetic, again, this is going to be something that you're really happy with and really, really intrigued by. For me, I think it's just not my thing, but I'm not mad about it. I think it's a really cool ring. Okay, so I'm seeing we have two pins in this box. The first one, I've got the back of Let's have a little look together what this is. So let's have a nosy. Okay, flash to, what is it? Ooh, oh, <gasps> it's the Inquisitorial Squad pin. I don't want this one. <laughs> No, this is a really cool design, actually. I do like it. I love the purple and the fact that we've got the eye there and then the squad in like the band. I would not have been in the Inquisitorial squad just as an FYI. Definitely would not have been a part of that. But I think this is a really, really cool pin. Again, if you like cosplay and like Malfoy or any of those lot, this would be perfect for that. I think this is really, really funny. We have a second pin, people. Let's have a little look again together at what this one is. Let's see. This is a much bigger, chunkier pin. I can feel it. Is it gonna be another one of those portrait pins? Let's have a look. I'm definitely feeling like square shape. Ooh, okay. So we have a Malfoy family portrait. Look at that, that's really cool. That's a really big, chunky frame, but something that's been very, very fitting for these three. I think they would have like really big, oversized 
frames. They think very much of themselves. They have these really over the top dramatic frames to put the pictures and stuff in. But this is really cool. I love the aesthetic of this as well. I love the artwork of the three characters. Now, Sissa looks absolutely stunning. And Malfoy and Lucius, of course, look how they pretty much looked in the films. I think this is a really, really nice pin. It's very big, not easily worn. But for a collector, this is beautiful. I really like it. And we all love to hate the Malfoys, let's be fair. Right, so now I'm seeing this item. It says Grunning's Drills. Oh, this is a... Oh, Vina Dursley works at Grunning's dr uh, Drills, doesn't he? That makes sense now. I had a little bit of a moment there. So we have... Oh, this is handy. Okay, we have like a little screwdriver with all these different heads that you can interchange with the one screwdriver. That's so handy. I'm not even kidding. I actually really like this. This is so cool. My husband is in charge of all the tools in my house. But every now and again, I think to myself, you know what? I can handle certain things. I can put something together. I can put a table together. That's fine. But I never know where he keeps all this stuff. So now I have my own little mini kit that I can use whenever I want to. I'm living for that. That's really, really cool. I'm loving the little display case as well. This is really, really cool. How do you get these off though? That's my one question. I am going to have to figure out how you get the heads off of the little stands here. But I really like this little kit. I think this is really, really handy for someone like me who wants to do a little bit more DIY, but maybe isn't fully trusted to do DIY. Probably a good reason to be fair, but I think this is really funky. I really like this. Really unique as well. I would never would have thought of that. Ooh, we have another copy of The Enchanter, you guys. This time we've got the Secrets and Lies of Dumbledore kind of theme going on here with the purples and greens. Uh, we have Morgana Le Fay, Merlin Ambrosius, and Nicholas Flamel on the front cover here. It says, Lives and Lives of Notorious Witches and Wizards. Then we've got Shrunken Head Origins, Blood Magic, Break In at the Vile Incantum, uh, Monsters Loose in London Derry, and an exclusive Hypno Bandit Strikes Again. I love these magazines. I think they're so cool. There's so much that goes into making these. Every single page is completely readable. Every page is different. They've got lots of Wizarding World little things in here. Uh, here's the story there on the shrunken head origins. Oh, we've even got a poison toffee apples cooking recipe. That's so cool. I like that. Oh my God, this is an actual thing as well. You can actually make them. That's really, really cool. I love that. Then we've got Life and Lies of Notorious Witches and Wizards. So the three that we mentioned earlier on is a little story about each of them. We've got some advertisements for different things in the wizarding world. We've got horoscopes right at the back. This is so cool. I'm living for this. Every time I get one of these magazines, I go through the entire thing afterwards and read the whole thing. Because there's just so much that goes into these. They're really, really fun. And they're so cool to collect as well. It looks like you've actually been to the wizarding world and you've gotten yourself a little magazine to read. These are just brilliant. I love these. Right, okay, so we also have, oh, this is fun, a Most Charming Smile Award. And it says, this certificate is awarded to blank, uh, winner of the annual Most Charming Smile Award in association with Magical Monthly Magazine. This is fun. Obviously, this is a Gildor and Lockhart reference. I'm living for it. The fact that you can actually put your own name as well. I have the most charming smile in all of the magical world. <laughs> I really, really don't, but this thing is just really, really funny. And the fact, like I said, you can put your own name on there. You can put Gildor and Lockhart if you want to keep it authentic. I love this. The fact that there's glues of gold foiling going on here as well. Look how shiny and pretty this is. This is really, really cool. And it has made me smile. So that's always a good thing. That is the cheat sheet. So we don't want that yet, but we do still have these two boxes. I don't know which one I want to go for first. I'm very intrigued. Let's do the skinny tall one first. Let's see what this is all about. Let's have a nosy posy. Okay, more styrofoam. We like the styrofoam boxes. What's inside here? It's very heavy. <gasps> this is so I don't know why this is in the love to hate box though. Is this not a serious thing? Is this serious? Or is this like when Lucius goes to Azkaban? Whose is this? <laughs> okay, I need to know. Because I don't hate serious black. This is awesome though. I'm living for this. We've got our very own prisoner of azkaban little i don't even know what these are called what do you call these like prisoner numbers i don't know this is so cool look how pretty it is oh my god i cannot wait to display this on my little shelves oh my gosh i am missing so much stuff off my prisoner of azkaban shelf this is going straight onto that shelf i'm living for this this is so cool the wizarding trunk you're outdoing yourselves yet again oh my goodness right one more item left and then i'm going to go and calm my beans because this box has got me all kinds of hyped up so let's see what's in our last box 
Oh, we've got more styrofoam. Good things come in these styrofoam packages, you guys. Let's have a look. Okay. Oh, I think I might be upside down. Okay, this is cute. I love it. Yes, cute, cute. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh, look at this. Okay, we've got an Aunt Petunia pudding. Look how cool this is. Oh my goodness. This is a really, really beautiful version. I love the colors on there as well. It's really like, it's light, but it's heavy at the same time. It's weird. But I think this feels like a really good quality. It looks so pretty. I hate the fact that Aunt Petunia made this because it looks delicious but she's horrific and I hate her but we love her pudding so love hate kind of fits the theme <laughs> but yeah this is a really really lovely replica oh no mine is damaged oh that's a shame oh well these things happen I've got like one of the little cherries here see it you can just see it's a little bit damaged is it a cherry I don't know but it's a little bit damaged we've got a chip in mine there but that can just be the back of it we'll just display it from that angle so it's not the end of the world these things do happen it's not a problem but yeah I love this I think this is really really pretty okay so that was everything that we had inside the box I'm gonna quickly go through the cheat sheet which has been made to look like a wanted poster and uh, this is a reward for the convicted murderer fugitive and follower of the dark lord oh is this supposed to be Bellatrix it doesn't name the witch but I believe that it's supposed to be Bellatrix it makes sense that it is but yeah, that's cool. So in this box, we had 15 items. And the first item was the manor key. This key will get you into the manor, but be careful. The residents aren't the nicest bunch. I was wrong then. This key is not a Ministry of Magic key. It's a Malfoy manor key. That makes so much more sense than the Ministry of Magic. I don't know why the Ministry of Magic would have had snakes. I'm an idiot. Never mind. But there, this is the key to the Malfoy mansion. So that's made me like the key even more. I'm not going to lie. Uh, then we had the Most Charming Smile Award. Congratulations, you won this year's Most Charming Smile Award. Thanks. Thank you very much. Uh, then we had the Family Ring, worn by one of the youngest people we love to hate. Okay, so this ring is probably Malfoy's ring then, like Joko Malfoy's ring. That makes sense. Again, not my aesthetic, but now knowing that it belongs to Draco makes more sense to me and it makes it more of a displayable item for me now so that's definitely a bonus there we had the numbered plaque your legal issued number plaque you'll be doing some time with some of those that we love to hate i'm not looking forward to that okay i, I do not want to go to ask <laughs> and then we had the bird skull earrings this new set of earrings will pair perfectly with a notorious villain's bird skull necklace there we go uh, then we had the i squad pin would you have joined this squad for the extra credit no, I would not. Okay, no. No amount of extra credit would have got me to join the Inquisitorial Squad. Absolutely not. Next, we had the decoration ornament. Hang this ornament to let everyone know the rules. Which of the three did you receive? Oh, okay. So the so the declaration that we got, there were three different versions. So again, I had the no trolls permitted in the dungeons one. Which one did you guys get? Let me know in the comments down below if you got a different one to me and what your declaration was. Uh, then we had the powdered root of asphodel. This ingredient is very useful in the potion making bottles by Pure Blood Apothecary. Love that. Uh, next up was the portrait pin. This magical family portrait hangs in the manor. I can imagine it does. I imagine it's a very big one over a fireplace or something like that. I don't know where that accent came from. <laughs> Give me a moment, okay? Then we had the miniature tool set. Tools purchased from a company that primarily makes drills. Love that one. Then we had the common rat. This appears to be a common everyday rat, but appearances can be deceiving. Little scabbers, he's so cute, and he's been very patiently waiting on my desk watching me film. It's very, very good. Uh, next, we had the cat plate. How adorable are these two little kittens? Super, super adorable. Next up was the enchanter. This magazine features an article all about the lives and lives of notorious witches and wizards in history, written by a talented team and designed by Wizardry Workshop. Love that. Uh, number 14 was the mini pudding cake. Now, don't go dropping this cake on anyone's head this time. This time? I didn't do it last time. It wasn't me. It was Dobby. Don't blame me for that. Then we had the, the last but certainly not least item. Number 15 was the peacock feather quill with Stan. Draw the attention you seek while signing your autographs. Oh, was it a, a Lockhart thing? Oh, I didn't get that reference straight away. That was a Gilderoy Lockhart quill. Why did I not do that? I think it was the pink. I think the pink box threw me off. And I thought maybe it was like a Dolores Umbridge thing. 
but it makes more sense than it is a lockout thing. I think this is really cool. Again, mine is very disheveled, you guys, but we all sort that out. We'll give it a good iron over or something. I'll make that look a little bit prettier again. So yeah, that was the Those We Love To Hate box. The next quarterly theme is The Keeper of Keys and Magical Beasts. Obviously, we lost Robbie Coltrane very, very recently. Sadly, he passed away. That news devastated me like it really did it had such an effect on me that we lost him and I know that that clip from the Harry Potter 20th anniversary video was going and doing the rounds where he said that in 50 years time he won't be here but Hagrid always will be got me sobbing like you won't even understand or you probably will actually because everybody loves Hagrid and obviously you're watching my video so you must be a Harry Potter fan so of course you understand but uh, it just broke me down. So I know that this is coming at a really, really good time where we're going to have a little bit of a tribute to Hagrid, to Robbie Coltrane, who we sadly, sadly lost. But yeah, I'm really excited for that box though. And yeah, this one, what can I say? This box had me blown away, okay? Like I know I say that for like the vast majority of the videos that I do for the Wizarding Trunk, but I am just absolutely thrilled to the bone with this box. All the items I'm looking at are just like, oh, genius, genius items, really well thought out, really, really lovely items. Just beautiful. The fact that we got a little scabbers has just made my day. I love scabbers so, so much. The quill is beautiful. The fact that we got like an Azkaban plaque is just blown my mind. I'm living for that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to choose favourites and least favourites again, though. Let me think about this. Actually, I will. I'll be able to choose the least favourite. And again, it's not because it's a bad item. It's just not my favourite item at all. It is the Slytherin family ring. It's just not my fully aesthetic I would never wear it as an actual ring. I will display it though. I'm going to have some kind of like dark arts, Malfoy-esque kind of style shelf at some point. So this will go on that shelf when that happens. But yeah, if it was just like something like this was in a store, would I have bought it? No, I wouldn't have. So that's why I kind of pick it as like my least favourite thing. Favourite thing though is going to be harder because this is glorious. This is adorable. This is genius. And this is stunning. Like, seriously, all these items are just ridiculously beautiful. The earrings as well, I've really enjoyed. Sorry, I'm like lifting things up and finding all these like little things that have been buried in like the excitement of me opening this box. Yeah, there's so much I could say positive about this box. It really was a brilliant, brilliant box. The characters that we love to hate, they bring us so much joy in the items that they have. If that sounds weird, I know, but... It's just, it's hard to explain. Some of the best villains have the best things. So it's really easy to love the items that kind of go alongside them. And that's kind of where I'm at with this box. I think this is a really, really strong box and I'm living for it. Scabbers is just going to chill there for a minute. So guys, what did you think of this box? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What was your favourite item? What was your least favourite item? Do let me know in the comment section down below. We can have a little bit of a chat. I personally loved this box. It was absolutely brilliant. Blew my mind. Just loved, loved, loved it. And yeah, it's quite ironic that it's a love to hate box and I loved everything. If you did enjoy this video, guys, do please give it a magical thumbs up for me so that I know. And don't forget as well, if you haven't done already, to please hit the subscribe button to become part of my little magical community and to the notification bell as well to be notified every time I upload a video. And I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye for now.